Hello, the greatest Agatha Might family. How are you all doing? Thank you so dearly for always supporting us. I really appreciate. If today the first time you are coming across this wonderful, great family, or you are seeing my face for the first time, I still remain your one and only Agatha Progress, and I bring it to you back to back. Remember, we react to all videos, and your opinion is highly needed. So let's dive into what is happening today, and I will be right back. The 19 accused persons shared tears of joy as the court acquitted them of treason and terrorism charges and ordered their release after 15 years in detention. The judgment favored me. I'm, I give God, God all the glory for what he has done in my life today. Over 15 years being in prison, it's not easy. But today I'm liberated and free. The trial judge, Justice Nicholas Owebo, says the prosecutors failed to establish proof for treason and terrorism charges against the 19 accused persons. The judge delivered a well-considered judgment exhaustively, exhaustively evaluated the past and came to the conclusion that there was no iota, there was no skin teller, there was no modicum of evidence adduced by the prosecution against the defendants. And what is worrisome is that it took more than 14 years to come to this conclusion and that brings to four one of the defects in our criminal justice administration. This is a case in which people wasted their youthful years. This is a case in which the state subjected this gentleman to trial for levying war against, against the Federation. And at the end of the day, they could not produce arm, they could not produce ammunition, they couldn't even tender the so-called uniform. The movement of the actualization of the sovereign state of Biafra is a sessionist group in Nigeria associated with Igbo nationalism, which supports the creation of an independent state of Biafra from Nigeria. Such campaigns are forbidden in Nigeria. Some of the accused persons say they were arrested in 2007 without any evidence of treason and terrorism. I feel to, to break down heaven, to go and meet God, to glorify him. I'm so grateful that God has done it for me. Actually, I was been suffering for what I did not know anything about. I'm a businessman. In my shop, I have two uh, stores, which I left unlocked. I went away in the morning. They picked me up and took me to the police station. I told my, my, my neighbors that I'm coming back in one next to one hour. This is next to one hour. Fifteen years, I left my shop unlocked. I don't know anything. Today, I regain my freedom. To God be the glory. None of us died. Oh, I give God the glory. Jemima Baloko arrives. So, my wonderful family, you can imagine the rate of injustice in Nigeria. Just imagine how many years has been cut off from their age. And imagine how old were they when they were arrested. Imagine somebody that woke up in the morning and said, I'm going for hustling. I'm going to my store. At the end of the day, he told his neighbors that I will be back in an hour time. An hour turned to 15 solid years. Imagine this. How we just people, they are your family member, they are your brothers, they are your husband. What would be your reaction? That's to say the injustice has continued and it has come to a point that in, in, in the southern part of Nigeria, nobody can express himself. They cannot talk. These are people that don't even know anything about the agitation, but they were cut short like they were picked up from their store without no trace, without no proof. They just spent 15 years. After 15 years, the Nigeria government discovered that they are innocent. Oh, what a great shame. This is the height of it. These particular people are supposed to be compensated because I know that nobody can tolerate it. Nobody can take this. Oh, I feel like sharing tears for my people. People are just suffering for what they know nothing about. We are not even talking about a year. We are not talking about six months. We are talking about 15 solid years. A child that was giving birth to 15 years, imagine how grown the child is. 
And imagine, maybe some of them are not even married, they don't have children, but still they pass through this. These are people without ammunition, just to talk. Even some of them don't even know anything about the IPOB movement. They don't even know about the agitation since 2007. Imagine 2007, the way uh, the Biafra agitation is, is not even as clear as it were as right now. Because then, of course, there were a lot of people that did not even believe in the Biafra movement then. But today, they, they, they got their freedom, 19 of them, for the past 15 years. And to the greatest surprise and to the glory of God, none of them passed out. Because it is not easy in that type of situation when you are allocated to one particular place, particular thing, for 15 solid years. And the happiest thing is that they are still alive and none of them turn to ROIP. It is so sad that people have found themselves in this type of situation. It is so painful. The 19 accused persons shared tears of joy as the court acquitted them of treason and terrorism charges and ordered their release after 15 years in detention. The judgment favored me. I'm, I give God, God all the glory for what he has done in my life today. Over 15 years, being in prison, it's not easy. But today, I'm liberated and free. The trial judge, Justice Nicholas Owebo, says the prosecutors failed to establish proof for treason and terrorism charges against the 19 accused persons. The judge delivered a well-considered judgment, exhaustively, exhaustively, evaluated the past, and came to the conclusion that there was no iota, there was no skin teller, there was no modicum of evidence adduced by the prosecution against the defendants. And what is worrisome is that it took more than 14 years to come to this conclusion. And that brings to fore one of the defects in our criminal justice administration. This is a case in which people wasted their two years. This is a case in which the state subjected this gentleman to trial for levying war against, against the federation. And at the end of the day, they could not produce arm, they could not produce admission. They couldn't even tender the so-called uniform. The movement of the actualization of the sovereign state of Biafra is a secessionist group in Nigeria associated with Igbo nationalism, which supports the creation of an independent state of Biafra from Nigeria. Such campaigns are forbidden in Nigeria. Some of the accused persons say they were arrested in 2007 without any evidence of treason and terrorism. I feel to to break down heaven, to go and meet God, to glorify him. I'm so grateful that God has done it for me. Actually, I was been suffering for what I did not know anything about. I'm a businessman. In my shop, I have two uh, stores, which I left unlocked. I went away in the morning. They picked me up and took me to the police station. I told my my, my neighbors that I'm coming back in one next to one hour. This is next to one hour. 15 years. This is the same way also the essentially said the leader of Biafra Mazina the Khan will regain his freedom very soon. Okay, I still remain you your one and only Agatha Progress bringing it to you live and direct from Arise News. And if you haven't subscribed, do where to subscribe, like and share. See you when I see you. From me to you, I say bye.